Greetings and salutations everyone, my name is Great Gear, and today I'm going to show you and teach you how you could potentially earn hundreds or even thousands of dollars per day on this brand new and exciting platform called Mobox, which is an NFT farmer on the smart chain of Binance. Okay, so first things first, you want to head into mobux.io or click the link in the description that I'll be providing down below. Now, if you're in the website, the next thing that we want to do is to register for an account. So I'll show you how to do that. So up here on the upper right section of the web page, just hit the register button and this will pop up. So register with email. So that's one option that you could use. Just type in the username that you desire, enter your email, and just hit the verification code. That would send a code to your email and just use the code that was sent to your email here. So for the invite code, just type in my invite code up here. You could also register with your phone. So if you do that, just hit the register with phone. So same thing, you add in a username, in this case, instead of using your email, you just provide in your phone number and send a verification code that will be sent to your phone. So same thing, enter the verification code and enter the invite code that I have provided. In this website, you would notice this, uh, in this section, our games, so there are two that are live, which is the, which are the Momo Farmer as well as the trade action and you can scroll through and check the upcoming ones that are not yet released so we have to wait for those so if you have faq you can just uh, click this button and just read through the white paper for the mobux platform so you see the introduction the inspiration of the platform as well as the roadmap as you can see, we are at Q1 and most of these are completed. In fact, all of these are completed for the quarter 1 of 2021. So for the quarter 2, you, you could expect this to uh, be developed as well as this one. So there's a lot going on in this project that has not been released yet. So there's a lot of potential in this project. Here are the smart contracts that you might want to add to your wallet. Also, regarding the wallets, you also need to add MetaMask into your browser. So, because this is why you're going to need to fund your main tokens for the for this platform to use and get around. So, let's head to MetaMask and show you how you could install it. Just type in MetaMask in your browser and just click on the first link. It's in the MetaMask.io. Hit download. If you're using Chrome, obviously go to this tab and then in click this install MetaMask for Chrome. It will take you to this web store for the Chrome browser. I already have my MetaMask installed so you, I don't need to do this on my part. So you just hit install and then set it up, create a password, paraphrase will be generated for you. It is always best to uh, lock that paraphrase into a paper and then you just keep it somewhere safe and uh, not lose it because that would be your key to using your wallet. If you're still confused on how to set up your MetaMask, there are a bunch of tutorials on YouTube on how to set it up properly. But for the sake of this video, I'm also going to show you how you could add the Mobux token address as well as the key token address to your MetaMask wallet. So first things first, you have to copy the address and open your MetaMask and change the network to Binance Smart Chain. And if it does not show up here, what you need to do is go to your account here, open up settings, scroll down to networks. And as you can see, mine is already set up. If it is not showing up on your end for some reason, you need to add a network. Now check the description of this video. I'm going to provide the information that you need to fill this up. So once you've done that, just hit save and that should record your Binance Smart Chain mainnet to your network settings. So just go back again and change your network to Binance Smart Chain if it's not yet changed. On default, it should be on Ethereum network. For this case, we need Smart Chain Network mainnet. Now that's out of the way, let's finally add the address. So hit MetaMask again. Get a copy of the address for the Mbox token. Scroll down to your assets. 
scroll all the way down until you find this button called add token hit that and go to custom token and paste the address here as you can see i already have my token added to my wallet so i don't need to do this but in your case if you haven't just paste it and this will automatically populate as well as this one just hit next and save so after doing that it should show up here as you can see mine i have zero mbox yet as well as the key since i have added those in my metamask wallet so you only need to add this two as these are a different address this is this are used for the main pool uh, partner pool etc these are the only tokens that you need to add okay so after creating an account as well as setting up your metamask wallet what you want to do is head to your account settings by clicking your username up here and this will show up configure account what you want to do is to bind your metamask wallet into your account i've already done that but if you haven't just click on the bind here the section and just hit confirm once the pop-up appears for the metamask so inside the momo nft farmer you will be greeted to this screen right here so first one is that we are at the great stab as you can see i want you to notice this one on the lower left side of the screen these are the two main tokens that we'll be using throughout this platform so the first one is the key it's currently valued at 124 dollars the next one it's the mbox token which is currently valued at 2.4 dollars each so this one's cheaper what the key is used for is that you could use it to open up chests which contains nft and those nft also has their uses which i'll be explaining later I want to explain to you what this staking platform is. So basically, what you can do here is that you could stake your cryptocurrency. For example, USDT. Cool. You could stake whatever amount you have and you'll be rewarded for up to APY indicated here. So this will only show up. The APY will only show up if you are logged in first. So that's the first requirement. As well as if your MetaMask is set up properly and if it's in the Binance Smart Chain network. This will not show up if you're not connected with your MetaMask wallet or whatever wallet you're using. So after staking your cryptocurrency every single day you'll be rewarded with keys which you could claim and they can be used on multiple ways like uh, you could use a key to open up a chest or you could also sell it for um, other cryptocurrency so it's that next is the chests you could use your keys to open up chests same thing as i've explained earlier but you need a whole number key to be able to open up a chest uh, 0.9 key does not count so it has to be whole number so one key is equal to one chest opened what you can get from opening those chests so these are the nfts or your non-fungible tokens so each momo has their own rarity as well as attributes here but for the meantime i don't think this has anything to do with their value so they are also divided into multiple rarities so we have common we have uncommon unique rare epic and legendary at the time of recording this video legendary is not yet available for minting so if you check the white paper here's the drop rate for each go down to gamefi uh, nft on-chain attributes here's the rate at which you could get those momos when opening chests so for the common ones or the white one or the gray color so you have 50 percent of getting those whenever you open a chest and the amount of momo for minting commons and commons and uniques are infinite and the rare ones as well as the extraordinary ones are limited so each rare can only be produced 200 times each extraordinary can only be produced 50 times so that means the value of this are much greater than this three. Okay, so go back. If we scroll down here, these are some of the higher rarity momos which you could get by minting or by buying from other people. So let's look for something that is on sale. This one, for example, it's a level 14 and it's currently priced at $29,000 BUSD. So this one's quite expensive and it has a valid reason why this is expensive. As you can see on the right side, top right corner, there's a 1022. That's your hash power. We'll get into that later. So I'll show you what that hash power is. So if we go to mining camp. You could use those NFT to mine more Mbox. Right, so this is the rate. So 100 hash power. 
you could generate uh, 15.7 mbucks per day. Now I have created here in Excel a simple calculator on how much mbucks you could earn per day as well as its USDT value in the daily ROI for when using your NFT to mine mbucks. We're gonna be using the previous example that we have. It was valued at $29,888. With the hash rate of I think that was 1022 if I'm not mistaken. Here we get the M box that we could farm per day. So it's 160 and it's currently valued at $385 per day. So that's a roughly 1.29% daily ROI. So from the daily ROI alone, that's pretty high in my opinion. That's that's actually a really good uh, return of investment. So in less than 100 days, you could get back the original amount. And aside from that, you could sell those <laughs> NFT for a much higher price if you wanted to. And we have to take note that there are a bunch of features which you could use to further improve your NFT your Momo by upgrading them which I haven't tackled yet in this video and I don't think I will be able to tackle it as I don't have enough information for that right now so I'll, I'll be doing that for another video in the future now I've shown you two ways on how you could earn in this platform so there's another one actually and that's in the marketplace down here in this tab hit market now if you have your NFTs and if let's say you don't want what you've gotten from the chest what you can do is you could sell them you can sell your nft for different price points so let's say you've gotten a, a what do you call that a rare one the cheapest one is currently valued at a thousand which has a mining power of a blue that's another thing that you need to know so this uh hash power they come in with different rarities as well for, for this rarity the blue one is the weakest one so if you have this one this orange or a purple one that could be valued uh, much more so this one, this one is actually cheap. It's uh, 2,400, almost 2,400 for a legendary hash power. So <laughs> I don't think this this will gonna last long in the market. This will be sold really fast once people get to realize the value of it. So as you can see, <laughs> as I was talking about it, it's sold. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so. If only I have money, I have, I could, I would have bought it. But um, yeah, yeah, some of it uh, are valued at two thousand nine hundred dollars. So I cannot explain to you fully each and every feature that, that each Momo has because you could all you could always check the FAQ section and just um read through the guide out there. So another one rarity that I want to show you is the epic one. So this is the most expensive one currently we have. Uh, six, uh, 11 on sale. So the cheapest one is valued at uh, 6,999 or 7k dollars. And the most expensive one is this 40k dollars. So it's a level 19 Momo with a legendary hash power. So you could also check the transaction log here and see what people have bought. So this is the, uh, the one that we have seen earlier. So it was sold for. <laughs> $2,400 it's quite cheap actually for a legendary hash power <laughs> so we also have leaderboard to see how much hash power that each address has there's also a tab for the momo hash power so this one is the strongest actually there's three of them that's the strongest all are level 30 they have 3120 hash power yeah, I think this is the highest that you could get for this rarity. I don't see anyone getting above 3120 yet. So this could be the highest. I think that's basically it for this platform. So the amount of money that you could earn is... Honestly, it's quite staggering if you ask me about it. You could stake to earn more keys. Use your keys to open up chests to mint more momos and then use those momos to mine more mbox which you can then sell or use later for other games that will be released. You could also uh, buy and sell momos for a different price point in this marketplace. I just have to know what you're buying and use the sorting features properly so you don't lose money. So uh, like this one, it's a common one but it's valued at 153. You should look for something cheaper. I usually do this, um, sort it by common and then price um, lowest to highest. So you could buy in cheaper ones, like this one's the cheapest one, uh, valued at $99 each. 
Also, as far as I know, there are bonuses whenever you collect four of these rarities. There's a bonus um like under the hash power for your mining capabilities if you collect all rarities for each Momo. So I'm not sure about that, but um you can do your own research as well. So I think that's about it for this video, guys. If you like it, please hit like, subscribe, and comment on this video. So this is the first time that I've created something like this, so apologies if, if it did not reach your standards, but I'll promise that I will be continuously improving videos for the next ones, for the upcoming ones. So if you are interested in that, just hit subscribe button. Thank you guys so much. And again, my name is Greg here. Greetings and salutations again.